Okay, so now actually, um, you know, the, the question is here, what the, the entire question is, uh, they may ask this application or maybe some other application, whatever it could be. Okay, so uh, the scenario will be common, but the application may be different. Now, uh, just look at, uh, you know, uh, these fields, whatever you have here, uh, look at this drop down employment status, include or uh, job title, subunit, or okay, so these drop downs that you see, right? Okay, now uh, the question is here. Um, click on this employment status or any of this drop down, then you have to inspect any of this element. And you have to write the locator for any of this element, either freelance or full-time contract, full-time permanent or something. Okay, so do you, do you understand the scenario? You have to click on any of this dropdown and then, okay, so you have to inspect. Now I'll, I'll try to inspect, but you see, when I try to inspect any of this element, you see these are automatically hiding. The moment I perform the right click, then the value is being selected, but these are being hidden. Right? So these are being hidden. Now, when I just, okay, so I click on this element and I try to inspect the element and those are hiding automatically. So those are called auto hiding elements. So generally what you do whenever you, uh, you know, take the mouse on to particular menu or when you get a drop down and all, then, you know, what happens is when you, when the mouse is on that particular parent element, that uh, drop down will be displayed. The moment you move the mouse or the moment you perform any right click or click operation, so that menu will be automatically hidden. All right. All those elements will be automatically hidden. So here or the same thing happening. Now, just when you click on the drop down, it's opening. The moment you perform right click, then see that it's hiding. Right now, you have to. They, they will ask you, you know, to write the X path, or you, they, they will ask you to inspect that element or write the locator for that particular element that that's being automatically hidden when you move the mouse. Do you understand the question? Now let's see. You know, yeah. Now, now let's see how do we do that. To do that, what you do is in your application, first you inspect the element, any element you inspect. Uh, in this case, just inspect the parent element. Just inspect the parent element. Now, this is the parent element. Okay, you, you see that it's highlighting, right? Now, when you click on the drop down, observe the HTML code. Observe the HTML code. Okay, below. When I click on uh, the drop down and see what's happening. Do you, do you uh, see anything there? Any element, uh, you know, is added there? When uh, the list, now list box is opened, do you see any element there? And I close this drop down. Do you see any element, uh, you know, removed from the source? I open drop down, any element added? Look at that. There is an element called div role list box something. DIV role list box, the class is, you know, OXD select dropdown. Do you see that element is being, uh, you know, added automatically? And when I close the dropdown element is being removed. not the focus, this one, the role list box. The role list box, you see this. This is being okay. So now you see this automatically. Now when I, when I, you know, inspect the element, when I take the cursor to the source code, that element is automatically hiding. Now you have to write the locator for that. But when the element is automatically hiding, 
and the element is automatically removing from the source code the moment i bring the mouse there the mo moment i you know move the mouse then how can we write the locator because when i try to get here then that element is automatically hiding you see that then how can i do that so in such cases it's very simple then what you do is here yeah, first okay you inspect the parent element or anything just inspect from the source code or in the source code right in the dev tools we call it as dev tools in the dev tools do one thing you say control shift p in the source code what you do is control shift p control shift p then do one thing here there is something called emulate a focused page this is something called emulate a focused page in in the source code in the in the dev tools in the elements then you press control shift p i'll repeat that okay so after inspecting the element any element okay so the parent element or anything then from the source code whatever you see in the dev tools control shift P. the control shift p then use something called focus or sorry emulate a focused uh, page you can say emulate right now i have clicked on that so it has been changed to do not emulate now do one thing Okay, so now, now here you can see the drop down is there. It's displayed, right? The list box. Now try to explore this. Now you can see it's not hiding, right? It's not hiding, right? Now you can write the X path here. So double slash span text equal to Full time contract. You can see I'm able to, you know, write the locator and all for that. So do do you do you understand that what I have told here? Do you understand what I have told? 